alone, huh? You, ma'am, ma'am, with that mask. Let that mask work for you. I'm singing alone. Lord, I'll be back. You know, there was one point when I actually applauded Kim Burrell back in 2017 when she received a lot of backlash after preaching on sexual sin in a church. There were gospel artists like Yolanda Adams who had a problem with her controversial message and she was pretty much attacked for speaking the truth. I never said LGBT last night. I said S-I-N. Fast forward seven years later, maybe five, because I would say around 2020, that was when much of her character began to just really unfold. I don't know what happened from, you know, 2017 up until this point, but it's like Kim Burrell has become the most meanest, rude. I mean, she's really the definition of a narcissist. I know many of you even remember what she said back in 2022. Likes to be told, you're just ugly. <laughs> no one likes to be told that, you know, especially when they have realized it. All right. Most don't get offended until they know the bad thing about themselves. And then somebody else recognizes and says, oh, I saw the ugly too. I just wanted to let you know. So anyway, y'all get that later. God is great. All of you are beautiful. I haven't chosen anyone to be ugly yet. God is good. God is great. You all look great. Most of you have on hats covering most of that anyway. Here's to you. Uh, <laughs> I have a great personality. Okay, I'm going to sing. I'm going to sing. Well, that's the thing about narcissists. They always, and I mean always, want to feel admired. They want the show. Everything is about them. And they need to just be in control of everything and everyone. Well, apparently, Kim Burrell, she felt disrespected while she was singing a solo. Lift your hands when I say thank you. It's a solo, God's using me. Don't sing with me right now. Lord, thank I'm singing alone, huh? You, ma'am, ma'am with that mask. Let that mask work for you. I'm singing alone. Lord, I'll be back. No, I'll call on you when I'm ready. So, here is the narrative. Thank you. I'm in the middle of ministry and you know how you close out a sermon. And I'm singing, thank you, Lord. I'm thinking that I'm singing a solo. It's a solo. God's using me. Don't sing with me right now. Lord. That one that has to join you. And I heard her, y'all. I'm singing alone. Huh? She was singing and I was just going for it. Thank ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am with that mask. Let that mask work for you. I'm singing alone. Lord. I'm operating in the things of the Spirit. Sometimes when I operate publicly, everybody doesn't understand the dispensation of what I operate in. They just see me as Kim the singer who's not being the singer, who is not always the singer. I'm the preacher. I'm the person with the gift of the prophetic. But anyway, so I'm sitting there singing and I keep hearing her. Then the man in front of her said, she's trying to tell you. No, man. I'll call you when I'm ready. So this was somebody who was disconnected in the service, but it was cool. But if you go further into the video, you're going to see what happened. I pulled her up, and then she went to dancing. What a time we had. I want to tell everybody, COVID is starting to rise again. Just like I told her, let that mask work for you. Ma'am, ma'am, with that mask. Let that mask work for you. I'm singing alone. Let that mask work means shut up. Shut up. I'm singing a solo, not you. I don't need you raining on my parade because I'm singing for the glory of man and not the glory of God. That's what she's really saying. But I thought worship was supposed to be unto the Lord. I didn't know worship leaders have the ability to shut down someone else's worship. And even when that man turned around and said something to that woman, that would have been just a perfect time to just simply get up and walk out. I would have got right up and walked up out of there. And I'm sure that would have really made her mad. Because again, narcissists, they love attention. They love everything to be about them. But this is the fruit when you invite a narcissist in the pulpit, all for the sake of entertainment and popularity. 
But that's enough of my thoughts. Let's go ahead and get the comments rolling and let me know your thoughts below. Blessings. Thank you.